Hi all and good afternoon. Today's little video, which I'm going to do a quick, which one, this is a, a switch, the waterproof switch, like so, with a rubber mount. Right, this rubber will go over the top afterwards and seal it properly after I've drilled the hole in the box. The idea is it's going to go in my fish finder box, uh, but I also want it so that, that's a bit, does that come off? Anyway, scratched in it. Anyway. So I want them to control these, and these are like these are um, actually number plate lights, but they're not going to be. They're going to be for night fishing. So I want them to fit it. To, I want them fit it to the box. Let me just show you what I'm doing. So you can understand that better. Okay. So this is the this is the box. You've seen this in the previous video. Hold on one sec. I'll take you back a bit. Come out. Put your back up, sorry. Okay, so this is my all-in-one fish finder box. And what I want to do is put either a light, I'm not too sure where I'm going to put them yet, either there or here. I think at the sides will be okay. Drill them through. These are waterproof as well. Fit them, but I want them to go into a switch, a wired switch, which has got a light on it to tell me when it's on and when it's off. And uh, that's what I'll be doing today. I'll be wiring this up. Whether it's wrong or right, I'll get it right. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you've got any suggestions or better ideas, please leave them down in the description below. So without further ado, let's get wiring. Okay, so top one, color gold. That's the switched light. So that'll be, I'll be putting a negative to that. All right. And then the center one is the control, which is the switch. And then the bottom one is the live. So I need to connect a live from the battery to that. And then what I need to do then with this one is connect the negative to the negative at the top with this one. And then the live from this light to the center one, which is the switch. And what should happen is when we switch this on and it's all done, the light should come on and so should this light come on. And then we switch it off. This should tell me that the light is off and the power has stopped going to the light. So, yeah, that's in theory what should happen. Um, I think I'm right. If I'm not, I apologise. Okay, what I'll be using is bait ends. These are a little bit, they're actually too big. But that's all I've got at the moment. So just, just for this for video's sake, I'm going to be using these. They do fit. They're a little bit small, but they do fit quite snugly. So I'll be using blue and red to symbolize the live and the neutral. Okay? Okay, because I don't have any red ones of these, we're going to have to use blue. So I'm going to put... Can you see that? Yeah. So I'm putting the blue connector... Onto this, and this will go to the battery. So just push them in using the crimps on blue. There we go. Squeeze him home tight. There we go. So that, of course, will be red, and I'll do blue the same. Uh, yeah, black the same on a blue one. Okay, quick change of plan. That's in focus, is it? No, anyway, so I'm going to. I've managed to get all to my lad, and we got some two core flex. So we're going to use this instead of these two from the battery. So it look a lot tidier, and there's loose wires everywhere. So I'll recrimp these. You don't need to see that. So brown is live, which is red, which will be, and then blue is negative. Okay, so they'll go to the battery. So now on the other end of this live one, which goes to the battery, we're going to put. A spade and at least like I said these spades are a little bit bigger than what I want for this particular switch you can see that they're not as big but they fit okay all right so I'll crimp that on there now if you wanted before you put this on here if you wanted to you could put this is just demo per demo a demo really well you could put an inline fuse okay a small 5 10 amp fuse for well, not even that small 5 amp fuse between this and the battery all right, okay, so this now is alive, which goes to the bottom, not the gold, to the bottom, because there's no instructions with this. There we go, so he goes on there like that. 
All right, so that's live to the bottom of the switch. I don't know what you call it, but the gold one is the light. Okay. I'm going to get another piece of this. What? 30 centimeters, if that. Yeah, about that long. Cut this, and then I'm going to join this to. I'll show you. So this, so the actual light and switch. Okay. So, like I said, the bottom one, the gold is the light. So now I've crimped two blues, so two negatives into one spade end. All right, and that will go to where am I putting that now? Yeah, the deck is on that to the light, like so. Okay, and then this one will then go to the middle one, which will then control the light this end, hopefully. I'm just going to peel back. I'm just showing you what I'm doing. So I'm peeling back the cable. And then we'll clean that off. And the lights, the lights that came, which I've got, they've got two of them actually, so I'm going to have to, oh, I'll have to do some more, won't I? I forgot about that. I'm going to have to do two more. So I might need... Right, okay, I'll work that out. So a live spade on this. Like so. Okay, and that'll go in the centre. They're a good fit, which is good. There we go. So you see that? So we've got a live coming into the switch, a live coming out the switch will go to the light, and then the two neutrals at the top, which controls this light. You'll see it in a sec. Okay, so here comes a little bit of a bodge, because I, I can't wire these in the box just yet, because I need to push the wires through. Or do I? It's just the switch that need to go in, don't they? Yeah, because they, they're going on the outside, I've got to push the wires through, so I have to drill the holes first. But for a demo purposes, let's see if we can get this to go. Okay, so just join the two reds together for now. Two blacks together, negatives. For now. Now what we're going to do, we need to join them to these without them touching, so give us a sec. Okay, let's give it a go. So you've got positive and negative to the switch. Um, two negatives going to the light part of the switch at the top. You've got a live going to the center of the switch. Well, no, you've got a live going into the switch at the bottom, sorry. A live coming in is making the switch live. So when you hit the switch, this center one should become live, which then goes to these two lights, and the negative goes to these two lights. So then you've got power coming in, stopping, controlled by this, and then the light at the top. So when I connect the battery, the light on the switch should work, and these should light up as well. Be careful that these don't touch. Because you will probably set fire to the the uh, wires. Right, so I'm going to put them on there. I don't know if it'll work like that. Just touching them gently. I push that down. I might have to hold that on. Okay, so here we go. All right, here's the switch. Two lights. Boom. Well, there you go. The switch is now live with the light showing, so that shows me that these lights are on and the two lights are working beautifully. And there you go. How to wire one of these switches that doesn't come with any instructions whatsoever. So at the end of the day, there you go. I'll do this and fit it and I'll show you it all fitted. So there you go. Positive coming in. Negative to the switch part of the light and the light itself, which I suppose the live is putting power to, to the light on the switch. And then the switch then converts the power, changes the power and turns it down to the lights, which are then going to negative. There we go. And then another bit of a fun vid if anybody's interested. There we go. Put the hole in. That's where one light. I think I'm only going to have one light. I only need it for, like, if you get dark and whatnot, when you're putting your hooks on. A little bit of sealant in the hole. 
and probably a little bit round the edge under it. Where the holes are. Started so cutting the hole. I used a hole bore. You want to get the right size. I haven't got the right one, but I'll file the rest out. Okay, that looks like it's going to fit. You can see a little tiny groove there. I'll make a groove in the box. And that should lock it into position, so it shouldn't slide out or come out. And then you've got to make sure that the rubber is over the edge. This rubber must fit over there because it gets jammed in. See that? There. Okay, that what makes it. That's what makes it. <laughs> that makes it watertight. Right. Look at that. Just in case, I've got two switches. <laughs> Just in case you got a bit confused. So this is the wired one now. Okay, <laughs> wired. Because I wasn't too sure where the wires were going to go. There's no need to be that long. So I snipped them. I'll snip these and then we'll use special connectors, waterproof ones, to put these together. Okay, let's give it a test. You know, switch wired in, the little sticky, well, what they call them, M3 stickers, I think they are um, cable cable tidies. Uh, and then I put a, <clears throat> if you can see that, cable towel on the handle of the battery. All fits in. Battery can be charged externally, but because I've got a Anderson connector on it, I just plug into that and that charges it. Everything back in. Put the cables in tidy. Right in the middle. There's a reason why it's not closing, can't figure out what it is. Oh, there it goes. Oh, I see. Ah, it's catching the handle. Bear with me. The handle's getting trapped. Right, there we go. Locking it all full water tight. Are you ready? Not tried this yet. I'm not joking. I've not tried it yet. I've wired it all up. Boom. Look at that. So switched button to a light so if it gets dark there we go all totally portable light switch battery all in one I thought what's the point of having it if you've got a battery and you're not using it to its full potential so I've got a light now love it thanks very much for watching if you enjoyed the vid please give it a thumbs up and we're right this time any videos coming up will be over here subscription button over there with the notification bell that would be fantastic honestly it makes a big difference uh that's it how to wire one of these switches with no instructions so that the light comes on and your light comes and you you got power to your main light as well okay take care thank you very much bye